Hi everyone and welcome to Wake Up Wednesday. So last week we balanced the EOS RP with the RF 35mm and somebody asked me a question about whether or not it would work with the 16 35 and as you know I've already done a video on that with the EOS R okay so what I thought I'd do today is actually show you how it balances or if it balances with the 1635 and also again give you all the measurements so it saves you a lot of time. See you in a sec. Play it back like a million times because they know that you're the absolute the original. Okay, so we've got it all connected up, the EOS RP with the 16 to 35. Remember, make sure you take off the lens cap and always the hood before you start balancing. Anyway. One quick interesting fact for you. Do you know that the human brain during the day powers enough electricity to light a light bulb? So if you're out and about and your battery runs out in your camera, why don't you plug it into your ear? See you in a sec. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. So I've managed to get the EOS RP working with the RF35 with the kit lens of 24-105. Now we're going to try and do it with the favourite blogging lens, the 16-35 EFL lens. Again, I've got the adapter on the back that allows you to put in the um, ND filters, the variable ND filters. So if that works on here, that's going to make me decide that actually it's better to use the EOS RP, unless obviously you're after colours and all of that lot. And at my skill level, I'm never going to be that good at, to be able to get those. So. Um, uh, if I've hit my mic, then I'm really sorry as well. Um, but yeah, let's get on with it and see whether it works. So we'll get straight into doing the balancing in a sec. But as always with the other one, it's important to get your setup right with the base plate. So what you need to do is obviously put in here the, um, uh, what do you call it? The riser plate. Okay. And then you need to connect it to the very front hole. All right. Like so. Put it as far forward as you possibly can, all right? Like that. Screw them in nice and tight. Get them in nice and tight and level. And with the adapter on the lens riser there, all you need to do is push that in nice and tight because actually there's no um, focus wheels it's gonna interfere with here, okay? Right, so as I do with all the others, I'm not gonna show you the balancing because that's boring and you'll be here forever. What I'll do is I'll get straight into it, show you the measurements, and then that way you'll be able to make note of them if you're actually using this one. But also it gives you those top tips on being able to do it for other lenses and so on and so forth. But remember, remove the lens hood and the lens cap before you start. See you in a sec. So the good news is, is that the 16 to 35, this one behind here somewhere, if you can see it, EF L lens does work with the Ronin SC gimbal and the EOS RP. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. Now, the measurements for you guys if you're doing exactly the same setup, okay? On here, as you can see, on the base plate, all right? That one's still set at two. That's the same as the 24-105 kit lens, all right? The um, side plate, this one, okay? That one's actually set at 2.2 rather than 2.3. And then the very front plate, that one there is set at 1.3. I better make a note of that because I forgot to make a note myself. So that's set at 1.3. Now, let's get the uh, camera on, all right? And I shall show you the settings that that needs to do. There we go. So it needs to come in to literally, okay, 0.2, all right? And once you've got it on there, you can then tighten them up nicely. And a little bit of luck, we shall see, hopefully, that this is balanced nicely and should, I hope, no, not quite. Let's reframe that one to 0.1, okay? So I have made a few mistakes there, but that's on 0.1, all right? So switch them on. And we should see that this one works as well, which I'm glad to say it certainly does. Okay, see you in a sec. 
So there you go, everybody. This has given me more evidence to actually say that the EOS RP is the superb camera to be using with the Ronin SC, because not only does it work really, really well with the RF35, but it also works superbly well with the 1635. And then you can have things like your old uh, clear lenses, yeah, or your ND filters smacked in there. Yeah, and you can be doing lots and lots of stuff with it, getting more creative with it. And the great thing then is the fact that you won't have to keep dismantling this one to then go and feed on to somebody else yeah, and then use it as a vlogging camera because if, like me, you've got two cameras, you can have the other one set up with a nice little lens on there and then you can be recording yourself or doing different things with it. Anyway, hopefully you found that one useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. You know, At the end of the day, I love all types of feedback. Please leave some comments down below. Ask me any questions you like. No matter what you want, I will answer to them sometime within seven days, either by giving you a comment back to it or, like I tend to do, is do a short video like this because hopefully it will help you all out. Make sure you make a list of the measurements, yeah? Um, if you want to rewind the video, they'll be in there to watch it again, but I'll also put them in the description down below. And if you're interested, why don't you hit the subscribe button? Cheers and go on. The original.